good morning y'all make sure you can hear me because y'all know this is not my thing normally normally i record in my office but today i'm very tired and i decided let me come and talk about this because it's something that's been on my heart to talk about is boundaries so we're gonna let everybody get in first and then we're gonna have a conversation that's important but good morning how's everybody doing today is wednesday see i got it right this morning good morning good morning only miss mandy kins fatty food blogger yes me least we can yes yes good morning good morning all right <clears throat> boundaries are meant to be admired one of the things that we don't realize is that the people that we admire you think you admire just the looks or the clothing or the way that they communicate a lot of times what you're admiring is boundaries and when it comes to these videos that you see on social media when it comes to the spoiled girlies like myself who can do what they're they please i'm not saying it to brag i'm saying it as though it is a fact it is a fact that i have uh if come to my attention that i am considered what we what you call a kept wife versus a stay-at-home mom just because i have children i take care of them my kids are older too by the way so that keep that in mind my kids are older but i am considered to be a kept wife because my husband is more concerned about making sure that i am taken care of and about my character and my values versus what i do for him so boundaries are meant to be admired and a lot of times when we have this conversation about boundaries most people, women want to know what do you say like how do you get this boundary how do you draw this line in the sand and i'm going to tell you it really isn't what you say it's the action that you put behind your words when a person knows that you don't uphold any of your boundaries or any of the things that you say that you want from them they will ignore anything after let's say for example for myself personally i don't know about you but i'm an introvert at heart so you're not allowed to show up to my home unless you make a phone call first um and if you show up without that phone call unless it's emergency which means that you still had to make some type of phone call you still had to communicate with me that you were coming over to my home i literally will not open the door and some people consider that to be rude i'm going to say that's boundaries because i've already mentioned to you that i prefer a phone call before you arrived in my home uh, maybe i'm not interested in company maybe i'm doing a live stream maybe me and my husband want to have sexy time and we are that that's how you keep a healthy happy marriage by being spending time together maybe i don't want to see you today i don't know i'm an introvert so i prefer a heads up if you're coming by and if you come by without that you may not be let into my home and that's a known thing so usually when i say this since i am a person who upholds her word and they understand that when you cross that line and you're crossing into my boundaries then it's an issue and you're going to get a response from that and it's not necessarily a verbal response because i don't believe in you don't always have to communicate people over communicate to a certain degree Sometimes it's not the place to communicate that they did whatever, whatever. Sometimes you, you show it with your actions by not opening up the door when they arrive, by not answering a phone call when they call, by not being available to them. And they get the message. And then they come back, they circle the block, and they come back to you and be like, hey. And it may be an apology or it may be a conversation. Depends either or. But boundaries are what we admire and what we see in others that we like a lot of times we we classify it as though it's looks or when y'all see spoiled girls kept with kept women being taken care of you think it's her looks you think it's her age you think it's her weight you think it's uh her sexiness that is what her got her that man what attracted her that man but those type of men that most women want the men who have resources they like boundaries because they have boundaries and they want that to be uh shown in their partners i have strong boundaries my husband has strong boundaries when i tell you he has strong boundaries about what he desires and what he wants from others and he stands on it 10 toes down and so we are definitely a match in that area and most men who have men that have resources they like women those strong boundaries some of y'all think oh he ain't gonna like me because i don't want to have sex with him after the first date or oh, he ain't gonna like me because i'm not gonna be available y'all i guarantee you he's gonna love you 
because there's too many women who don't have good boundaries. They don't have strong boundaries. They don't even know what they haven't created boundaries for themselves. They think uh, a boundaries are created by you yelling at them or you know telling a person uh, play by play what the boundaries are, and that's not the way this works. I remember I posted a video on Instagram over here. Of course, I gotta remember what platform I'm on. And the young lady just sit across from the guy, just screaming out what she desired from him. And he was unimpressed. And he should be. Because boundaries are something that you have to get very clear on with yourself first before you even learn how to communicate them. And I've had a lot of practice in creating boundaries and drawing that line in the sand. So I understand first it had to be energetically. That's, that's where you start. First, you look at the things that you need to create boundaries for. You create them with yourself. You get clear on them. And you stand 10 toes down on them when they come around. If you're challenged. Um, so, this means if you don't want to have sex, don't have sex. You don't have to be pressured into sex. A lot of men love to chase. They love a woman who has boundaries and has requirements before they even get to sleep with them. Men love that crap. That you think they love that fast life, they don't. Not the men that have resources and have values. These men love that a woman holds herself to a high regard. So you don't have to be ashamed if you don't want to see with the man right away. Have your boundaries. Stand ten toes down on them. Keep that as your foundation. Don't think that you have to go out here and move like you see other women moving. As you can tell, it has not been successful for the women who are moving in that manner. And it won't be. Y'all think it is, but it isn't. It isn't. Boundaries are something that you can put in place, but first you have to put them in place with yourself. You have to have an understanding of what those boundaries look like. If you are trying to create boundaries for dating, what boundaries do you need to put in place to date high value men? To date, I hate that word. I think I hate that word. Every since KS started that uh, conversation about high value, I don't even like to use it. I like to use uh, a man that has resources or a, a top tier man. I can't stand high value man because I think we've ran that to the ground. And now it doesn't even mean what it is supposed to mean. Uh, now it's starting to look like it means uh, men who don't have any values. And I'm telling you now, a man who doesn't have values is not a top tier man. He is not a high value man. Those men absolutely have values. And they require values from their partner. They require values from the woman that they're going to settle down with. Usually those people are what we call a reciprocal. But boundaries are to be admired. And the thing, the first thing for you setting your boundaries, if you don't know how to set boundaries, you need to get clear on what boundaries you need to set. Then once you get clear on what boundaries you need to set, you need to make sure that those boundaries, um, those boundaries for you are something that you are willing to stand on, 10 toes down. This is going to be your foundation. And after that, you need to start implementing your own boundaries. And what I mean by that, you're not going to run around communicating to everyone who will listen what your boundaries are. Those girlies are actually showing that they don't have boundaries when they run around communicating to everybody they meet. And then think that they, I don't know how it's gotten twisted up in uh, to being, what is that? What is that? What is the term that she used in that Instagram video? I think she said, you got to teach people how to... Uh, what did not use you? I think she said, she said something about you had to teach people how to treat you. And she considered that to be a boundary when she was trying to force him to get out of the car to go pump gas. And that is not how it's done. If she wanted to teach him boundaries, first of all, he shouldn't have been in the car. It should have started there. He, he is a man that is living off her. She should have started there by getting rid of him. Because one of the things about boundaries the boundaries that you say you have, it needs to be a reflection in your life. So you cannot run around saying that I only do this uh, with high value men, but you're giving time to dusties. You cannot run around saying I only want to be provided for, but you're in relationships with a man who doesn't have a job. So if you want to have clear boundaries, first make sure those boundaries are a reflection of your life. Like you are going to really stand 10 toes down on that foundation of boundaries that you have for yourself. Like, it starts there. Now, I think I'm a little bit over the women who get on social media and they talk about providers. They talk about men and resources. But they, they have not, they have not, they don't have a life that reflects those boundaries. 
and you start there by getting taking out the trash. That's where you start. Take out the trash. Stop dating men who can't offer you anything. Stop dating men who you have to beg to pump gas or beg to pay a bill or beg to do anything with you. Start there first. Have it reflect. Most people will take you seriously when your life is a reflection of the boundaries that you say you have. Like, trust me, they will. It's just like if I say I'm not going out and I, I don't sleep with a man because I'm celibate um, and I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on God to see me a man, but then I go and sleep with him about a third date, that is not a boundary reflecting the life that you say you live. You're saying you're waiting on God. So you should be holding this man uh, in that space until God gives you the green light and all of the things align before you even move forward. Your life has to be a reflection of the boundaries that you keep. I don't think you can take... First, you got to be able to take yourself seriously. That's the truth. If you want to sum up, you got to be able to take yourself seriously. You cannot implement boundaries if you can't take yourself seriously. So, in the games of creating boundaries, the first thing you need to do is sit down and figure out where you need to have boundaries at. Like, where do you need to have boundaries at? Then clarify what that looks like in your life. And really uh, stand firm on them. Have them be a reflection in your life. Whatever boundaries that you want to sit here and make other people uphold to, you got to start first. You are the first person to uphold your boundaries. Okay? So, so start there first. And stop thinking that the only way that you can communicate boundaries is through communication. A lot of times we're communicating boundaries through our energy. We're communicating boundaries through our energy. We're removing ourselves when a situation has crossed our boundaries. You don't realize how much more people respect you when you don't have to constantly, when you don't have to constantly communicate things. People actually learn a lot through silence. You will learn that throughout your life when you start dealing in boundaries and trying to have, uh, you want to have strong boundaries. Uh, because I'm a person that people consider to have strong boundaries, and since I have strong boundaries, I, di I don't have to do a lot of communication. Because one, my boundaries are a reflection of my life, for one. So I'm not sitting here giving you a boundary that I'm not already upholding or standing on. Um, two, when they come through, I don't feel the need to communicate. I feel the need to pull away because silence is louder than words. We're, we're doing too much when it comes to this boundary conversation. I see video after video after video after video about boundaries and they're showing you how to implement boundaries incorrectly. And then you're not going to be taken seriously if the only way you know how to show your boundaries is to yell at another person, tell them that they need to follow your boundaries. One of the things that my uncle taught me uh, that I feel like is key to help me really hone in on good boundaries he taught me that it is my world and everyone is a guest in it and from that i'm able to, to create my boundaries and create the things that work for me i'm not focused in on what my friend is telling me or what my friend's opinion is i'm going to create my boundaries based off my life so it can be a reflection Boundaries with, with everyone, people can't walk all over you. Boundaries are protection. I have shown boundaries before heartbreak. Know the damage was too much and I'm still working on it. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Boundaries, we have to implement boundaries and we have to do a better job of what we're currently doing. And I think because of everyone is a, that's, I think that's another reason why. Y'all know I don't refer to myself as a relationship coach, a dating coach, a mindset coach, a self measure I don't do any, I don't consider myself to be a mentor, a coach, or anything. I am just braille because I feel like that has been oversaturated and they're giving so many different ideas and opinions when it comes to boundaries, but they're not honing, on, honing in on the fact that you must, you must have your boundaries as a reflection of your life. People, when people see you're living your life in a certain way, they take your boundaries more seriously. You don't have to over communicate or go overboard and exaggerate or, you know, be aggressive about what you want from them. Because when they see you're living a certain lifestyle, uh, I'm that person. I don't let you in my home unless you make a phone call. Um, I'm that person. I have strict boundaries on how I run my business. Um, I'm, 
I'm that person that I have strong boundaries and the way that I uh, do my one-on-ones and the time. I have those strong boundaries in place for a reason. And this brings about respect. And this also brings about people leaning into my boundaries. They don't fight them because they already see that my boundaries are a reflection of my life. Like, I'm already living that thing. So, there's no conversation. Like, I've all, this is the reason why I talk so much about self mastery. Because when you are, when you are what you say that you are, guess what? People respond because they can, they can genuinely feel when you are genuine. And then you got so many people faking the, well, I ain't gonna say faking. I'm gonna say, too many people have jumped in this space and it's getting oversaturated. So much, so many opinions, so much conversation, which I love that, but I hate the misinformation. I hate the misinformation because I think it's going to be harder for women to go out here and date men that have resources and you only thing you're going off of, you're creating about ba- y'all are creating boundaries for boundaries now. Now we're getting to the point of ridiculousness. We're getting to the point of ridiculousness. We're getting to the point where we're not standing on that foundation. You're not even a true reflection of the boundaries that you've created for yourself. And do y'all realize there's another side to boundaries that can be kind of dangerous? Where we have uh, created boundary from boundary and we box ourselves in a, in a hole. We box ourselves into a wall where we are, we can't move, we're limited. You have to give yourself some space so that you can grow and evolve. Because I'm going to tell you, the boundaries that I had as a young woman are not the same as the one I have as an older woman. It's just not. When I was 18, my boundaries are different. Okay? At 18 years old, I was partying, getting to know people. I let people come to my home. I let people hang out. We, I let them hang out on my couch, stay overnight. We party until the morning. And now I'm an older woman. I had to adjust to grow and evolve. Of course, my boundaries change, but you don't want to have your boundaries to the point where they're not flexible because you will grow and evolve. You will learn, you will grow, and you may have to readdress a boundary and be like, okay, this boundary no longer suits me. Now it's time to change my life so it can be a reflection of my life, and then I can institute this boundary all over. Uh, you won't have problems putting boundaries in place when your your life is a reflection of the boundaries. I guarantee you. You won't have people trying to go head to head to, or toe to toe with you about your boundaries. But it doesn't truly matter even if they do. Because when it comes down to it, you need to look at life as though it is my world and everyone is a guest in it. And if you look at life that, it is easy to create the boundaries that are needed. If you need boundaries uh, about how you deal with fan friends, put them in place, but be flexible. Because maybe you might connect with a person that's outside of the norm for you, or and you might need to be flexible about that boundary and readjust and, and change. What's an example for having boundaries for boundaries okay here's a good one um i see you floating all over social media um y'all have boundaries about like when i stands which is great but y'all also have boundaries about him being able to call at 9 p.m what if there's a time difference like you have to be very careful with the boundaries you have to make sure that uh the, the, the boundaries can be flexible when needed especially for situations i want you to have boundaries but i also want you to build your life in a way that you you're going to be able to live it live and thrive and i don't want you to be stuck uh because you have all these boundaries because come on let's be for real let's be for real on this this live stream because i feel like i can always be real with the pedal swipe community because you all get me how about this? Y'all know good and well some of these people are creating boundaries because they're so hurt and scared of a relationship. Instead of addressing the elephant in the room, they create more boundaries. That's boundaries for boundaries. And a lot of time, the boundaries uh, that they have is just to actually make sure that they don't get hurt. Instead of actually addressing the hurt, addressing the wound, taking the time to heal, they would just create boundary after boundary after boundary. Now the boundaries to the point could be uh, where they don't even make sense. And I've seen that all over social media. And actually, that is what people are advising. Um, and that's because some coaches, some mentors, some um, dating coaches, they're coming from a place of hurt. And since they come from a place of hurt, they're helping you all create boundaries uh, for boundaries. And knowing good and well that some of those boundaries aren't needed. 
Some of them aren't needed. Some of them are absolutely ridiculous. And that's what I mean when I say boundaries for boundaries. Because now it is a boundary on top of boundary on top of boundary. And before you know it, only people you're gonna be able to react uh interact with is gonna be your family members and friends. Because you're you're making sure that you are putting yourself in a space where you're gonna be antisocial and you're not gonna be out here meeting anyone anyway. So that's what I mean by boundary for boundary. Is that some women are just putting boundaries on top of boundaries because of the fact if you're looking for boundaries because you're scared of being hurt deal with the hurt deal with the hurt because you cannot create boundaries that's needed for your life that will change your life and your uh trajectory without dealing with the hurt don't de depend on boundaries i think that's what some people are doing they're depending on boundary out the boundary boundary out the boundary in order to not get hurt to um insulate thank you thank you miss right time that's absolutely correct they are insulating themselves away from being at date being able to meet new people being able to have new experiences being able to live because that's where we're going that's the direction we're going in and i think i think to a certain degree that's why some people are like how do i communicate it like first of all you have to get clear with your boundaries and where they are needed and your boundaries need to be a reflection of your life when they are a reflection of your life, you let, a lot of times you're not going to get any pushback on that. You get pushback when the boundaries are boundary for boundary and they're definitely not a reflection of your life. And the only reason you're using boundaries is because you are wounded. And being hurt, there's nothing wrong with that. I think all of us have been hurt at some point in life. But you cannot live your life hurt. And I'm going to tell you something that maybe you didn't know. There's no protection. You're not going to get out of here alive. Like, you don't know any, even if you insulate yourself and have boundary for boundary for boundary for boundary, you could still end up getting hurt and it doesn't have to be from a man. It could be from your own child. It can be from a family member. It can be from a coworker. You're, you're, you're gonna, life is still gonna be lifing. And so that is what, that's what we, I see happening is that people just creating boundaries. There's all types of boundaries now and it's getting to the point I see what's happening is wounded. People being hurt and don't want to be hurt. And nobody wants to be hurt. I think nobody wants to be hurt. I think everybody uh, wants to go through life never feeling any pain. Unfortunately, even if you don't get it from a man, there's going to be someone that hurts your feelings or says something that you don't like. You're going to might be triggered. And that can happen anywhere, anytime. Instead of trying to insulate yourself with boundary for boundary, deal with the hurt so you can create the right boundaries for yourself. So you know exactly what you need for yourself. Because guess what? Uh, I don't think no one ever told y'all that boundaries are individual, individualistic. They're not meant for me to tell you my boundaries. Because I, uh, I have boundaries too. But uh, my boundaries may not be similar to yours. Because my boundaries are a reflection of my life. They're the reflection of how to, I'm going to be able to thrive in the world that I created for myself. So boundaries are not meant to be copied and pasted. Some things may be good for you. Like maybe you don't care if people show up at your home. Maybe you're a total extrovert. The party is at your house. Baby, it ain't at mine. So I have boundaries. And everybody that knows me since I have strong boundaries, they adhere to those boundaries. Because they already know. I literally will look at you out my window and I won't open the door. Because you do not make a phone call. And and it only... Uh, only no, I actually don't bend on that. Because I honestly... I'm an introvert. I get energy by myself. I get energy from being alone versus being around a whole bunch of people. I get my best inspiration when I'm in meditation and in prayer. So I prefer you to call because you might be interrupting um, the conversation I have between me and God. Mm, life is still going to be life. And yes, it's still going to be life. And I mean, you ain't going to get out of here alive anyway. So you might want to create boundaries that's going to be uh, specific to your lifestyle and not think that you have to create all these these boundaries. And some of them are weird to a certain degree. Some women, I've seen boundaries where people are saying, well, he has to buy uh, a, a red Chanel purse on the first date. I've seen boundaries where he has to buy a pair of shoes. So he has to say certain things. There's so many different boundaries and I guess I can lean into so many different standards. I ain't even talking about standards right now. I want to focus in on boundaries. Let's do one at a time. We're going to focus in on boundaries today. And and all it is, 
it's hurt. Like, nothing wrong with boundaries, but some people just use them as a way, as a shield to, for protection. And protection, I like, you actually, you can do the best you can and insulate yourself from society and from life, but you're still not getting out of here alive. So you might as well experience it to the best of its ability. But create boundaries specific to your life. Look at your life as though everyone else, else is a guest in it. And create it from that perspective. And then once you create that boundary, make sure your life is a reflection of the, of the boundaries that you desire. And don't expect other people to always adhere to them. Like one of the first things you have to do is you have to uphold your boundaries. You have to enforce your boundaries. It's not my job to do so. But it is your job to either pull away when I don't uh, adhere to your boundaries or communicate. And communication normally comes after. Communication comes after. Everything doesn't need to be communicated. Sometimes we need to do some things energetically by just moving away. Sometimes silence is so much more powerful than your communication. Y'all don't understand how many people have circled the block and came back to me and apologized or wanted clarification or wanted to communicate. And that is because I just pulled away. Like some of the times, y'all have to realize people, since we are, uh, you know, spiritual beings having a human existence, most people know when they're doing something wrong. Like that's the gag. They, most people know when they're doing something wrong. They just choose to ignore it. And if you um, choose to ignore it, they're going to ignore it. But most people know when they're doing something wrong and they can feel, they can feel when you're pulling away. When you're pulling away and all you're doing, I don't, I look at it as though I'm just pulling away and giving them space. I don't look at it as though it's a manipulation tactic where I'm trying to force them to, to uh, talk about something or fo force them to see it. I just look at it as I'm pulling away and giving them space. I'm pulling away and giving them space so that they can, uh, you know, have a deep dive or really think about what's going on in this situation. And maybe they need time too. Maybe they didn't catch on immediately, even though people can feel that something's going around, uh, going not right or something's wrong. Maybe they need time to think about it. And sometimes it does hit people later on that, hey, maybe I said something wrong or I crossed the boundary. Maybe she didn't want to talk about that and I was forcing her into it. And instead of her going off on me, she just kind of uh, pulled away and gave me some space so I can uh, come to that conclusion. But sometimes you have to um, allow people to get, give people a space so that they can figure out their own ish. It, don't don't go you're not you don't have to be responsible for anybody you don't you don't have to be responsible for anybody's mental health any anybody's uh day to day the first thing of boundaries is to realize it's your world and everybody's a guest in it and since it, it's, everybody's a guest in your world you are creating boundaries that's going to help you specifically with your life and they're going to create boundaries and help them specifically with their life but that's not your job to worry about that it's your job to, to have your boundaries be a reflection of your life. So when people come into it and you, it, you know, put that boundary in place, they don't cross that line. When I come across women who are in their spiritual season and they're just like, in, they're in the God, they're meditating, they're praying, they're doing all these things and they're living a life accordingly. If they, if they tell me or indicate that they don't like something, I'm going to pay attention to it. Why? Because there are the boundaries that they have, it's already a reflection of the things that they're currently doing. And that's the key. That's the, that is the magic key for boundaries that I don't think I've heard anyone say. That you have to be a reflection of the boundaries that you desire from other people. Because you have to create your world specifically to you. Don't worry about trying to run around, tell everybody what your boundaries is. Uh, people, and I see, and I know I ain't got nothing to do with what other people say. I honestly, I'm not going to concern myself with what other people say. But I'm going to tell you specifically, pedestal wives, inner circle members, you don't get on dates and you don't have to sit here and tell a man everything that you are against. You don't have to sit here and let him know all of your, your uh, boundaries, all of your no's and all of your yeses. 
you're going to live your life as a reflection to those boundaries. So when you institute those things, he, he will be able to adhere to them easily and lean into them. Even when it comes to being a woman who's kept, your life should be a reflection of that because you are a kept woman in your own reality. When you are a woman who's already, you have everything together. You already, you have everything that you desire already. And majority of you do. Majority of you have everything together. That is a reflection of a kept woman anyway. So, of course, you're going to have boundaries that's going to reflect that. Of course, he's not, he's going to expect boundaries of, of such, of being a woman who doesn't like to be called out of her name. Because you're already operating as a classy woman who uh, communicates well, who lives a good life. You already are a reflection of that. So, of course, why wouldn't he lean into making sure that he doesn't call you outside of your name? Y'all have to understand that's the key to boundaries. It's not about running around telling everybody that you know about your boundary. It's about being a reflection of the boundaries that you keep. You be that. And it's so much easier for people to lean into it and adhere to it. That's the reason why uh, you have, if you have boundaries and it's outside of the life that you keep, of course people are going to try you because you already are not a reflection of the boundaries. But boundaries are definitely meant to be admired. Some of the people that you think you uh, admire, it's not because of their looks. It's not because they're a kept woman or wife. It is not because of the clothes they dress they wear. It's not because of their fashion. It is because boundaries are attractive. And most of us, we're, we admire people who can have strong boundaries. We admire people who draw that line in the sand. And who makes sh who allow, who doesn't allow other people to fight against that? And we if people fall in line and they adhere to those boundaries. We admire that. So boundaries are meant to be admired. 